Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Hello, hi, I'm Katie and today I'm going to do a take you shopping with me in Zara but not just any old Zara. I'm in Croatia and the Zara here in Split is absolutely phenomenal. Let's go and see what they've got. best thing about this Zara is actually it's like two minutes away from my house which is kind of amazing but kind of terrifying for my bank balance too. So as you can see when you enter there's just this absolutely gorgeous section of all white gorgeous blazers, there's a new bag there that I hadn't seen before and some shoes that I've had my arm for ages but they're kind of an off white so I didn't get them um, and then they, ah, I came across this absolutely dreamy dress which I've seen so much, um, a very similar one anyway on um, Instagram in like a lilac um, but I love this colour much more, it's like a dreamy sky blue, I think it would be super flattering, lovely for like a wedding, date night, that kind of thing um, they have, this store has so many blazers, like so many blazers. I felt like this one was kind of Ted Baker vibes with the like um, fancy sort of buttons. Then I came across this, just a pink section basically, which I was in love with. This skit was really, really cute, but really, really short. And it's kind of not the vibe that I really go for anymore. Um, I love these jeans. I actually didn't try them on because I forgot, but when I go back in next time, I'm definitely gonna try these on because I just think they're really nice spring jean. Um, and easy to wear with like a white t-shirt, white crop, super simple. And then there's this beautiful pink dress. Again, it was a little bit short for me, but I absolutely loved the material, like this soft satin. Um, and I love the shape and the cut of it with the long sleeves as well. Then I saw this white dress, which is, oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for summer holidays, maybe more. Um, date night, that kind of thing. Uh, I think it's one I've seen quite a lot of as well on Instagram and again it's a really good price so this is in Kuna but that's around £27 um, if you're UK watching it. Then I came across this cute two piece which I thought was really nice for like every day sort of smart casual with some sandals easily could dress it up with heels I mean just look at the colours in this section I'm slightly obsessed um, just all of the I love red and pink as a combo it's just so lovely this is a little play suit oh, this is so sweet you know if you're going on like a little summer holiday somewhere again this is like about 26 pounds so just like really well priced and then I saw this nice little t-shirt at the end with like these embroidered slightly cut out bits um, I thought this would look really nice with like black shorts black skirt tucked in with like a nice black satin midi skirt maybe and some maybe like beige trainers and then um, another gorgeous blazer. So this one was um, probably a little bit more like a dressy blazer, but I just thought this was absolutely stunning. It gave me like Chanel kind of vibes and it definitely would dress up any outfit. Um, and then there's a lovely like black and white section here. Oh, this bag was just an absolute dream. I don't need a bag like that at the minute, so I'm not going anywhere. I feel like it's definitely an occasion kind of bag. But yeah, there was just so much lovely stuff and this is only on the first floor. Then I came across these new bodysuits, they've got lovely basics in there and this beautiful shirt which I did try it on actually because I have a really nice bright shirt, sort of satin material like this one that I bought last year and I've lived in it. I thought that might be a new nice addition, nice satin midi and then another very similar shirt. They had all the basics like nice jeans, skinny jeans, I love these colours, they've just got so many bright beautiful colours and Zara at the minute. I thought this top was very like Karen Millen, paired with the green trousers would make it really sort of springy but quite sophisticated. Then I found this absolutely perfect summer bag. I had one like this last year, I actually broke, it was from Primark but it looked very similar and I wore it with everything, it was so just like perfect for summer, went with every single outfit. Um, and then I came across this section with this jumper that was absolutely just, oh, a spring summer dream. Like I actually had to pick this up. So it might be a hint of what I, one of the things I did pick up. I also did try this on, um, yeah, some gorgeous embroidery anglais shirts here. This one was like more of an oversized fit. And again, that price is around like £26. Um, it's a really gorgeous midi dress, you like a bit more colour in your wardrobe. And then a more fitted style of the embroidery anglaise shirt. Which I think is just going to be a lovely addition to any wardrobe this spring-summer. It's 
especially if you're trying to build like a capsule wardrobe, something like that. I think one of these is very classic, timeless, elegant, quite effortless to wear, can be worn in lots of different ways. Um, yeah, I really like them. Then I found the print section. This was very like safari print, um, lots of like khakis, browns. You can see the neutral tones here, like really earthy colours. So what I love about this Zara store is they literally lay it out in a way that's just so aesthetically pleasing and so nice to shop because you can see the kind of things you would pair so well with everything just there. Um, I came across this crop which I'd seen online. I really liked it. It was about £20. Um, and I know that there is a matching skirt to this as well. So I thought these shorts would be cute for like a little bit more of an elevated short. Definitely could dress them up with a nice, nice blouse, but also wear them to the beach in the day. I thought this was really like kind of American vibes, but I really liked it. Um, yeah, it was just like a oversized jacket with like cool embroidery. These are obviously the dupe of the Crocs. Not Crocs, big and stocks. <laughs> that we're seeing ever at the minute which I do actually really like um that green dress was like linen it was so stunning with this oh look at these colors like next to this so many nice like satin shirts I've really got into shirts this year um I actually picked up a few linen ones from there recently and I've lived in them I'm actually wearing one now whilst I'm filming this um and yeah then I saw these beautiful like broderie anglais matching set there skirt and top which I thought was really nice um and a few more gorgeous embroidery embroidered pieces like these is quite different little waistcoat nice to just see like different kind of things rather than like the same stuff all the time some nice classic tan heels this would be great for a capsule wardrobe if you're trying to build one and also some gorgeous wedges down the bottom here which i thought again would be really good for a capsule wardrobe if at any point there's anything you need codes for just leave a comment and ask i have got codes of Quite a lot of the items so I can help you out there. This is actually a really nice tan and cream linen-y feel bag with like it's sort of like half leather and half linen so it's quite like nice for every day. These are the linen shirts actually that I have one in white and one in cream and I'm just living in them. A few cute pairs of like slip-on um, sandaly shoes this one and then I also saw these ones. These are the ones that I said at the start they're like an off white so I didn't get them because they are like this like almost like a creamy tone which is a shame um, and if they were white 100% would have got them although they would have definitely got dirty so easily so this blazer is absolutely stunning and there's a dress that actually matches that they didn't have in store anymore but it, the dress is so cute it's got little cut sides, sides um, some cute basic white denim shorts and all the kind of denim shorts you could possibly want they've got really good like basics and essentials in there as well at the minute there's all of these obviously gorgeous bright colors that you're seeing if you aren't someone who wears a lot of bright colors there's still so much in there at the minute um i actually really love some of these patterns i feel like this shit with really 70s vibes um and yeah i think just like paired with like a cute little orange skirt or something like even like a white skirt and heels it would be so nice for a date night or even with some trainers for the day I saw this handbag and I thought it was really cute. I thought, I think ha handbags, like white handbags kind of hard to come across and that don't look like tacky. And this was like just a really, really sweet one. It was nice and little. And I saw this hat and I was like, oh, I've been looking for one of those hats forever. So I may have picked that up. Um, then I came across these dupes of a very well-known designer shoe. It's so, so, so pretty. Um, yeah, and then we went upstairs. Are you ready to see what's upstairs? So here there's some lovely like jumpsuits, nice neutral colours. I also saw a spot in a really cute pair of shoes around the floor, um, which I did try on, but I've got white feet so they didn't suit me. And then I found this top, which I've I love it when I find something I've never seen anything like before. And this top was like that. I was trying to get the beads back on the um, hanger to show you, but they are actually the straps. So it was they were like wooden beads. It was really, really lovely, but I reckon it would be kind of heavy and probably not great to bring home in my suitcase. Um, however, I thought it was so lovely just to um, find something different that you've like never seen before. Um, these were the shoes that I was on about as well, by the way. Also, then I came across this beautiful, like creamy, neutral, polka dotty section. Um, 
these sandals were just gorgeous again they didn't really suit my wide feet but they're really really beautiful if you don't have wide feet <laughs> um and yeah just like lovely neutral section up here quite smart casual um but just really dreamy bits then i've been looking for like a slightly longer style of like jean shorts that weren't ripped as well so i found them but unfortunately didn't have my size so maybe i'll keep checking back in there also saw these which are kind of like a bit extra but you know it can be extra sometimes this was such a color, co color combination that I wouldn't normally pair, like this bright green and this orange, but how nice do they look together? This was a really dreamy like linen skirt. I think it was a skirt actually, I can't remember, but I kind of think it had shorts underneath. Um, and this really lovely like over bikini sort of like um, dress. I can't think what the name of the material is, but I just thought this was really lovely and a great little holiday find. This is just so sweet. This is like a little gypsy dress. It's tiered, so maybe not the most flattering in all sort of body shapes and types, but if you're more of like a, um, you know, a sort of athletic shape, this would look great on you. I'm sure most figures could pull it off if you wanted to. Um, I also love this rara skirt version of it as well, but it's not something that's very flattering on my personal body shape, um, so I don't tend to actually wear them. This was just a really cute, like everyday summer dress that I saw with a nice little detail at the back. It looked kind of like mango vibes, quite like this. And again, the price was about £26. So this t-shirt just thought it was quite funny because obviously doing what I do. I wish I could just have a day off posting um, sometimes, but well, I can, but you know. I've been looking for a pair of chunky sandals. So I did try these on, but I didn't think they were particularly flattering on. And then just some more lovely tones here. This is a linen blazer and like a nice olive colour. Um, I just think it was really beautiful. Something a bit different would look great over like a white dress, white jeans. It'd look lovely with this white body behind it. And just, just some really lovely tones in there at the minute. Uh, this dress I did try on and it was kind of cute but kind of didn't really fit that well, which was a shame. Um, but this is just a stunning embroidery anglais. It's mid axi so it's just to the ankle, not maxi, not midi. Uh, but yeah, really lovely. And then they had the white linen blazer in the same as the olive that I just showed you, which I thought was a really nice, like, relaxed, kind of like, again, could be a capsule wardrobe piece for this time of year, spring, summer, um, because you could just pop it on any evening. This is the dress that I was on about earlier. I said you love these bags, but they were really cute. It's also did quite a few different colours as well. It's very gorgeous. I actually should have tried it on. Cream, and then also I don't really need a dress like this. I have lots of dresses kind of similar. It's kind of my style. It's quite plain and simple and elegant, and you can wear it with anything at any time. Dress it up, dress it down. Um, this cute little cord caught my eye. I think it'd be kind of cute for maybe someone a bit younger than me. So it's very, very short and it is a crop top as well. But it would look really cute with these trainers or there are some sandals just here that I thought it would look actually really cute with as well. So I can't believe how big this store is. As you can see, there's just so much in here. They have these just stunning, quite, this is like 70s vibe, like little two-piece. Um, this gorgeous dress, another little funky two-piece. This green bag was just a little olive dream with that green blazer I showed you earlier. Oh, how nice would that look together? Um, and then this dress on the end, which I actually have one of from Zara a few years ago. And I love these pink shoes. These are a designer dupe as well. Really just dreamy little pair. Zara's great for designer dupes, actually. Then I came across this lovely white and pink section and I found this midi dress, which is so beautiful. The print, the style, the material, the shape absolutely gorgeous that would look such a dream on and just like perfect for this time of year uh, with a nice little cute pink blazer or something um there's just so much i didn't even get to show you but this is i'm pretty much going to round up here and we're going to go to a little try on and um, the last bit that i actually filmed was here this little black and white section which is very nice very classic and um, this is a really sexy dress and i feel like this would look great with a summer tan and i also saw this really cute like midi dress uh, mini dress sorry but again like I said earlier, I'm not kind of going for like shorter things at the minute. I'm trying to keep my wardrobe quite nice and classy and trying to think of buying things that are more sustainable for the future. Here's my little outfit of the day and the little linen shirt that I was mentioning earlier um, is the one I've actually got on here. Like I literally am living in it. The top that I'm wearing is also from Zara this year. It was like fiver, and then the shorts are from Zara a few years ago. So I found the hat. This is a hat that I had to have because it was just such a little dream. I have wanted a hat like this for so long, but hats don't normally suit me. So when I find a hat that does, I 
have to buy it immediately. Um, so yeah, I picked up this one. It was only, only two in store actually, so I'm glad that that one was there. So this is me trying on the white mid axi that I showed you earlier in the Bridery Anglais. The shape of it is beautiful, however, the straps do not hold your bust at all. So if you are with a smaller bust, I would say you could get away with this, but anyone with a larger bust is not going to be supportive at all. It did have pockets, however, which I think reclaims it a little. Um, and I love this back detail, it was really nice, obviously you could tie it yourself, but it's also got like the stretchy bit around the, the waist, so it, it was kind of like, it, it should fit better than it did. This is one of the tops that I actually really wanted when I first arrived. Um, I didn't pick it up and then I went back to get it and it wasn't there so I was devastated. But it was on the last chance rail today so I did pick this up. Oh, Phil sneezed there. Um, I did pick this up. This was in a medium. As you can see, I probably could maybe have done with a large but I think it will normally be okay. Um, the, the trousers I tried on, unfortunately they didn't do anything for my shape. I really love them though, they're like a nice, nice like deep dark forest culotte and I think they would have been really really nice like if they just fit a bit better but I don't know what's going on with the Zara sizes as you'll see. I tried on nearly everything in a large. Um, this is me just showing you some of the codes <laughs> um, for reference if you guys need them. Um, but yeah, I tried on nearly everything in a large and as you'll see through the video now when I'm trying them on, I just don't understand like how in the same shot, like one large can be hanging off me and then another large can be so tight that I actually pinched my skin and like almost cut my <laughs> myself. Like how does that work? <laughs> Like I mentioned earlier on, I was trying to find some like classier, nice shorts for the summer. I thought these would be absolutely perfect. And um, they were like this nice, smart, black, but kind of like relaxed at the same time, not too dressy um, pair. But they were absolutely, as you can see, gigantic. Like you could have just slid them off me. I wouldn't really need to undo them. Um, and these were in a large, so they didn't have another size. So unfortunately I couldn't try on the different size. This was that jumper that I mentioned earlier that I just had to try on. Um, I think it's really lovely. It would look great over like white um, skinny jeans, maybe like a like an off-white midi skirt, like satin, something like that. These are some trousers, shorts that I tried on, and again, like you can see, they're just so unflattering, they're so tight. Um, just not a good look at all, but yeah, jumper was a little bit of a dream and I think it'll come in really handy as just like a check on in the spring summer evening. Here we have the silk and satiny shirt that I mentioned at the start of the video. I love the colours but it, there was just something that was a little bit not 100% with this for me. Um, one of the buttons has actually fallen off the sleeves which is why they're not done up properly. Um, but I paired it with like these light green shorts. Um, it did go really, really nicely with them. However, I think it would look great with the darker green culotte that I mentioned earlier because it did have that lovely dark green in it, although it's coming up a little bit more blue on camera. I did try on also this gorgeous like linen white blazer that I mentioned earlier. I kind of wish I tried the olive one on actually because I think it would have been a bit more of like a special piece to have. Um, but yeah, it does look really nice and it would be so easy to wear with anything and everything. So I actually had a very successful shopping trip. Bought things that I definitely shouldn't have bought, but I was here like adding timeless pieces to the wardrobe. You cannot just leave there sometimes. And there was a top in there that last time I really wanted to buy and I didn't buy it. And then I went back to buy it and it wasn't there. So it was there today in my size, so I bought it. So let's go home and I'll show you what I picked up. So I'm back at our apartment. That's <laughs> just our stuff washing outside drying. Um, but our apartment, I don't know if I've showed it to you on here yet. Um, it's like ground floor, but you go down. So it's like slightly underground. So because of that reason, I'm just gonna show you the pieces outside because the lighting isn't great. But Reese is also on the phone in there, which is not ideal. I'm just gonna take this out of the shop. It's ruining my, my vibe. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is the top that I said last time I really wanted. It was this one, a little black one, very similar. And I tried them both on, I fell in love with them. And I was like, oh, I just don't, don't need them. And then you know when you think about them for ages afterwards, then I literally was like, I have to go back and get them. So this is one of them. But the black, the black one wasn't there, so I couldn't get the black one. So like the crisscross back. And they only had it in my size, so I felt like that was a sign. I also picked up this hat because as you saw, I just went with everything. I loved it. I've wanted a hat like this for so long. There's a few little frays on it, but it only had this one in a medium. So I kind of just went for it. It was £20. I felt like that was kind of a good price for it. I picked up this jumper because I feel like springy, summery knits are kind of hard to come by. If they're not too, like, too heavy. I'm um, just being careful because I've got a nail to file. Um, and I thought this would look really nice with like white shorts and um, maybe like the e-crew like style mom jeans um, or even some like more slimline jeans or even like skinny white jeans I would look really nice with. This was a little bit more, I think it was about £32. Um, I'm trying to do the conversion rate, I don't actually know but it was 29, 299 kuna which I think is like maybe like £32 I think. Um, so I got it in a medium to large, it's got like the split size, it's just super like cosy and comfy and like just perfect nice knit for this time of year. And then the last two bits I had like no intention of getting but I wanted to change um, the black shorts that you saw me try on for a different size and they didn't have any and when I went to get them I found these two and I fell in love with it as an outfit so especially with the hat as well. So I picked up this. And um, this was only £22, I think. So it's like the little crop. Um, ties up at the front. It's got really sweet, like, little button details. Uh, it's just like a nice linen-y feel top. And then the last thing was these trousers because I can never get, like, like wide leg trousers that are nice and long on me um, that aren't, like, a tall range. So these were perfect. And they were only, like, again, like, £22, I think. So um, I got them in a large. The fit was really nice. And I actually only picked them up to try them on with that top just to like have an outfit. I didn't actually pick them up with the intention of even buying them and they're probably one of my favourite things I've bought. So I've been looking for some sort of like wide leg, more relaxed trousers for a little while now and they are just good. So that is everything from today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe with the number button on not to miss the next video. And I hope you've enjoyed this kind of more relaxed style of video. Um, come shopping with me. As if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll know I've been obsessed with that Zara since I arrived here in Split nearly a month ago now. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to keep traveling and seeing where else has amazing shops. <laughs> um, but it's really lovely to spend the summer in Europe, well, the spring summer in Europe. And make sure you are following over on Instagram Instagram and TikTok not to miss out on that. If you loved any of the pieces from today's video, let me know which ones you love down below. I love hearing from you guys. And also make sure to pop over and say hi on Instagram. If you haven't already seen, I did do two Zara hauls um, this month as well. And I've also done two H&M spring um, hauls, like new in pieces that were amazing. So make sure you do head and check those out. I'll leave them in the description box down below. If there's any like um, codes from the Zara things for this, just let me know and I'll try and find them out for you. And also, and also I did a blazer styling video last week. So if you've missed that one, make sure you head and watch that after this if you love a blazer as much as I do. My favorite Zara blazer, which I bought from here, is actually in it um, and it's this gorgeous dreamy perfect for spring lilac one thanks so much for being here see you next time